Welcome back to our channel. Uh, today we're going to do something new and this is something I'm going to do every single day. Um, that is a technical analysis of the FANG stocks. And for those that don't know what FANG stocks are, it's basically the five biggest tech companies uh, minus uh, Microsoft. Um, so FANG stands for uh, Facebook, Amazon, Apple, uh, Netflix and Google. And the reason why um, I'm going to do a technical analysis of these uh, five stocks is because today they're such a big part of the you know, of the S&P 500 and especially the Nasdaq. So S&P 500, the 500 biggest companies in the United States, and these five companies have 15 percent, around 15 percent of that index and that is just an enormous amount um, of value those only those five companies have of those 500 companies that are basically in that index and what that means is that if um, the stocks for these companies rises then the whole index basically rises if these five companies basically decline in value the stocks decline in value then the index also declines in value and that is especially uh, the case uh, with uh, the nasdaq where six of these biggest companies like fan stocks plus microsoft are nearly half of uh, the value of the nasdaq so whatever happens to these stocks basically in, uh, affects the s p 500 and the nasdaq substantially so we're going to look at um, these stocks from a technical analysis standpoint and uh, we're going to basically use these analysis in order also to uh, predict where the nasdaq and the s&p 500 will go um, from now on so yesterday um, these uh, we'll start with facebook so facebook fell uh, quite substantially and it has been falling uh, from its high of the $304 and all the way down to uh, $244. This is almost nearly um, a 20% um, decrease the last uh, two and a half weeks, which is quite uh, significant. Like they lost one fifth, uh, Facebook lost one fifth of its capital. Uh, market value um, the last two and a half weeks uh, which is fairly ridiculous um, but uh, Facebook um, looks like it ran into support here at this uh, green uh, moving average which is the 100 moving average um, and at this point uh, we'll probably have a pullback from here um, if we look at the technical indicators the MACD is still fairly uh, negative and um, this would point to us uh, going even lower uh, with the, the stock at this moment it is oversold fairly substantially oversold so that's one of the main reasons why i say that we may have a, a pullback from here before we go lower um, you can also see the uh, Bollinger Band. We are basically at the bottom of the Bollinger Band. And usually when we get to this point, we basically have a pullback and then we go even further down. Uh, the stochastic is fairly uh, negative at this point. If you look at the weekly stochastic, we can see that we still have some, uh, basically some room basically to the downside. It will probably take another uh, two weeks before we get all the way down here uh, and we probably see this um, market um, gaining support again or this stock to gain support again so at this moment we are basically uh, we have support at the 100 moving average and that is at 233 dollars so expect the um, uh, Facebook to increase in value uh, uh, in today's session and probably also tomorrow's session before we go down. Um, support at the moment should be at uh, 50 moving average and that is 260. And uh, so there's around uh, $17 of room here which this um, stock will uh, trade in between. Uh, but of course, 
if you look historically what has happened to this stock, um, it got way ahead of itself. Like most of these fan stocks, they um, did not really, they of course declined in when the coronavirus hit, but since then they had basically have had substantial growth. Um, so a pullback from here uh, was expected. You can't grow forever. So if we look at Amazon and Amazon, the same thing here, we have uh, March and the February here, and we have the big decline in the, in the market. However, Amazon exploded um, at the end of March to the upside. It went all the way from $1,642 all the way up to $3,560. So Amazon has had an increase of 116% uh, from end of March to, to um, now the end of September. Um, and this is all due to um, uh, the world becoming more e-commerce uh, friendly. Um, malls and the physical stores are uh, probably something in the past and most of uh, consumption will now be done on, online. And of course, uh, Amazon being the biggest uh, online uh, uh, store, they uh, benefited uh, substantially due to the lockdown and so on. However, we also see that Amazon stock have found support here at uh, the 100 moving average, which is at the $2,879. And at this point, it basically bounced from, from that point. Um, we can expect resistance to be at the 50 moving average, which is at around $3,186. Um, so this is a stock that it, it's still benefiting from the coronavirus. Uh, it may, may fall uh, further down to the the, to the pink line here, which is a 150 moving average. But still, I don't expect this stock um, to fall much further um, due to the fact that people are still buying more online and that is technically the future of, uh, of uh, from a consumer standpoint that we will buy most of our goods online. And uh, as, that, as long as that is the case, um, Amazon will benefit greatly from that. If we look at the technical indicators, we are oversold. We're at 25. Uh, MACD is uh, quite negative. Uh, however, the stochastic on the, on the weekly chart has reached a red line here. It may have a few days to go before we basically turn to the upside again. And therefore, um, this is probably a uh, a good buying opportunity for Amazon as Amazon you basically can see has had really good growth and this is basically due to everybody starting buying online. So if you look at Apple, it's basically the same thing. Um, so we have the coronavirus coming in here. We had a massive breakdown in the Apple stock. It fell around uh, 33%. But since uh, the fall, it has basically increased uh, by 159% at its height, at uh, around $139. So a pullback was expected. Uh, but in yesterday's session, we basically saw a Facebook stock rally. And... It did rally, but I do expect the stock to go lower from here. I do expect the stock, similar to Facebook and Amazon, to hit the, um, the, the 100 moving average line here, which is around the $97, probably a little bit higher uh, after the day session. Um, and I do expect the 50 moving average at $110 to be the ceiling at this point. So... We'll probably bounce from the ceiling and we'll head to uh, $97 before going higher. Um, 
this stock, it, this is probably one of the best companies in the world. Uh, so every massive decline in this uh, stock is a buying opportunity. Facebook, you know, Apple will not go bankrupt anytime soon, uh, even though it lost around 500 billion in market uh, uh, market capital at the mo- uh, recent weeks. This stock, this company will still not go bankrupt anytime soon. This is just a pullback because we basically got way ahead of ourselves, and and pullbacks are de- like these are just great buying opportunities. If you look at the uh, technical analysis, we can see that uh, uh, MACD is still quite negative. We are not still we're not oversold. We are at thirty one, so we probably have some uh, space left to go down here. And if you look at the weekly stochastic, we actually can fall significantly further. That's why we probably will go all the way down to the. Uh, 100 moving average before we we bounce from here. Um, you see the Bollinger Band. We are basically struck the bottom of the Bollinger Band, and we'll probably go to this moving average before we uh, continue down. So if you look at, we'll take Netflix first. So this has been the uh, fast, uh, the best performing stock last 10 years i think it was like four thousand percent it basically increased from its beginning so and uh, yes similar to uh, amazon and google uh, not amazon and, and apple every single time you have a, a big decrease in this value of the stock it is a massive buying opportunity so yesterday this stock rallied and uh, we do expect this stock to uh, reach the, probably the 50 moving average before uh, heading down, uh, further down. Um, yeah, further down from there. So uh, the 50 moving average is around $500, 499 And if you look at the uh, technical indicators, um, we have just... You can see that the MACD is about to turn and go upwards again, indicating that we probably reached the bottom of this. We have tested it three times, and yesterday it was a really good sign of this green candle. Uh, the same goes for the RSI. It is not oversold, and it's pointing upwards. And uh, But the weekly sarcastic has still not bottomed. I do expect us to go similar to this period here where we go down and then probably go up and down and then up again. Uh, so we may be trading within this area for the next few trading days. Probably sometimes next week, we'll probably go higher from here. So look at Google. So Google has uh, those companies that are in the FANG stock. Google is the one that basically has broken down most significantly, it has fallen uh, uh, around 18%. Um, so similar to the other FANG stocks, we have this massive decline in February and March. And then we have this really bullish run where the stock uh, rose uh, 68% in only a matter of, of months. And since then, uh, in the last two weeks, it has broken down quite substantially. It has broken through the 100 moving average. It has found support here at the 200 moving average and the 150 moving average. And at this point, we'll probably see this stock bounce from here. We have been here before. We saw this stock uh, have this decline over here and it bounced from the 150 to 200 moving average. Um, the MACD is indicating that we'll go lower, so we'll probably stay here for quite some time before we go up again. We are in the oversold position. However, the weekly stochastic is indicating that we'll probably go lower. Uh, Bollinger Band has reached, is very stretched at this point, so do expect this to bounce uh, probably to today's session um, or tomorrow's session. So 
take into account that all of these stocks have found uh, support at the 100 moving average or in the Google's case in the 150, 200 moving average, uh, we may see a, a, a bounce uh, in the Nasdaq especially and also the S&P 500 today and probably also tomorrow. Um, but but uh, sh that is basically in the short term and basically this week. Um, I do expect the uh, S&P 500 or the Nasdaq to go lower or stay um, within uh, the range of, um, if you look at the Nasdaq, We can see the stay within this range of the, the of the 50 moving average, which is here, and the 100 and uh, 100 moving average, which is down here at the uh, 10,000, well, roughly 447 and 11,200 there, thereabout. So within this range for the next few trading days, we'll probably go up to the 50 moving average and then go down basically um, for some time and then we'll probably go higher from there. If we break the 100 moving average, we will go down to 10,000. And that, of course, depends on uh, some a few factors, whether or not um, the US dollar uh, continues to appreciate uh, if Congress uh, can get this act together and um, add uh, new stimulus to the uh, to the U.S. economy, uh, because of course the Fed can do a lot of things, but uh, it is it has limits. It cannot run the U.S. economy uh, on its own. So you're welcome to support our channel by hitting the subscriber button and the like button and to do hit the bell button in order to see our newest video. Uh, good luck trading and thank you very much.